What's up everybody, hey everyone, welcome to another fun-filled episode of What's Cool and What's Not Cool. I'm the DK Master, Cullen, better known as Big C-Man. Check it out, let's rock. Donkey Kong Country, oh yes. <laughs> In the old days, we all remember a company called Rare that actually produced the Donkey Kong Country series. I mean, I've heard of a lot of Rare games they produced like Banjo-Kazooie, Conker, and Diddy Kong Racing. Donkey Kong Country is by far one of the most awesomest games to play that were featured on the Super Nintendo back then. Today's episode is about Donkey Kong Country levels. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be very fun discussing levels about the game's Donkey Kong Country. It's going to be pretty amazing. It's time for DK Donkey Kong. <laughs> Here's Donkey Kong Country levels. First one would be Jungle Hijinks. <laughs> that was a cool Donkey Kong Country level. That was actually one of the first levels in Donkey Kong Country. Like you start off with and then Donkey Kong shows up. That made me feel pretty damn awesome actually. I don't know why it was the first level in this, the whole game, but I thought it was pretty damn amazing to get extra lives there. Minecart Carnage. That is a cool Donkey Kong Country level. That minecart level that Donkey Kong did with Diddy Kong, it looked kind of like something from Indiana Jones, you know, where he's riding the minecart and like the jumping made me feel pretty damn hilarious. <laughs> it's pretty cool as hell though. What sucks is there's only one enemy though, <laughs> but I don't mind. Castle Crush. That is a cool Donkey Kong Country level. When you get up to the, that level, it just feels like, uh-oh, you're going to be crushed in this castle. Like you're going to be, like, squished. <laughs> the, the music to that sounded heroic, but yeah, it's by far an easy stage, technically. You just have to be careful. Hell, even Rambi, the Rhino, and Squawks the Parrot will help you in that level. And I think they're pretty damn awesome in that game. <laughs> this is fun. Demolition Drain Pipe. That is a cool Donkey Kong Country level. The level's pretty quick actually. You're in like some sewer level and these dudes ended up riding stuff like that. What was so funny in that level is just like, you can knock out the Buzz characters. You're going very, very, very fast. <laughs> it's kind of like doing a roller coaster ride and stuff like that. <laughs> it can never be a DKC level without the best. Bramble Scramble. <laughs> That is a cool Donkey Kong Country level. Um, the music, the music sound like, it feels like you're in heaven. Dude, I thought the level's pretty fun, like it's like, Hello, welcome to Brambles. <laughs> it just felt like the weird looking music was pretty cool and the, the level's not too bad. Squawks of Power, you get to ride them twice and it looked pretty damn unique. Blackout Basement. Uh, that is not a cool Donkey Kong Country level. Okay, I've beaten this level. For God's sakes, the lights are turned on and off. It's like, on, off, on, off, on, off. In reality, that's kind of annoying. Sometimes you see enemies and sometimes you get your ass screwed by these enemies. <laughs> I mean, it's funny to beat the level, but it just it felt very annoying. Toxic Tower. That is not a cool Donkey Kong Country level. That sucks, actually. I've beaten that area. What's weird, you start with Ratley the Rattlesnake, Squash the Parrot, and Squitter the Spider for like almost a minute. What sucks is the animal friends could get hit by the poisonous toxic. Toxic levels, they do suck sometimes. It's not like Poison Pond or anything like that. I just thought like, it's not too bad, I just get screwed a few times. But it's technically an easy stage. <laughs> People are gonna hate me. Stop and go station. 
Ugh, that is not a cool Donkey Kong Country level. Okay, that level's not that hard. It's easy. All you see are these monsters like, and then when you hit the stop sign, they're like, they feel like they're dying, but the go barrel makes them move. The stop barrel makes the gremlin stop. Kind of like, you know, like traffic lights in reality. So that's fun though. The area like that, I feel like the Kremlin when I stop and go. Oh no. Poisonous Pipeline. That is not a cool Donkey Kong Country level. It sucks. <laughs> this level, you're about to enter in a poisonous water where you go in reverse. It was not too bad. What sucks is it's just like, you do that for almost the entire level. Like, when that level is finished, it's like, oh, thank God that horrible crap is over. I lost life a bunch of times, but I've beaten it. It's difficult at first, but you can get past it carefully. And I took my time getting past Poison's Pipeline because it's an embarrassment. Oh, look at this. Lightning Lookout. Oh, no, that is not a cool Donkey Kong Country level. This level did suck, actually. I've beaten it. You know what's pretty damn embarrassing? Um, if the lightning would actually come after you. Imagine that in real life. A lightning rod comes up and you get electrocuted. Yeah, that's annoying sometimes. What an ungrateful bastard you do in that game. It's like, what sucks in the game, if you're underwater and the lightning's there, you're dead. You're electrocuted. <laughs> it's like, ah! <laughs> If you get hit by lightning, that sucks. It really, really does. What the crap. <laughs> so what have we learned about this episode? Donkey Kong Country levels I like are cool. Donkey Kong Country levels I don't like are not cool. Whew. Okay, i like to thank the Angry Video Game Nerd, James Rolfe. I'd like to thank Nostalgia Critic, Smosh, Katie's Opinion, Brookers, Wood Creek Faction, Look at me, one, two, three, change the channel.com, and everybody who is watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed that episode. Now, I'm going to see Trey Parker and Matt Stone play their own video games. <laughs> see ya.